Got a few extra pointers for using the turkey fire. First of all, make sure your uh, propane tank is full because you don't want to have to switch out or, um, you know, uh, run out of uh, propane right in the middle of cooking the turkey because that's pretty much a disaster. I don't know if I'd eat a turkey after that. Um, so that's one thing. Make sure you use the correct measurements of oil, of pot size, of uh, pounds of turkey, and time. So it's about three minutes per pound, which is incredibly faster than the, uh, the regular oven method. So um, that's pretty good. So usually the turkey comes with a setup like this. You put it in a uh, aluminum basket or a metal basket and you use this to easily dip it down in there. Now what you don't want to do is stick your hand on this, generally speaking, and lower it down into there because no matter how much moisture you get out of the turkey, there's still going to be some. And when moisture hits that hot oil, that stuff will, you know, crackle and pop. So what we've done is uh, we've created this little device here so each person gets on either side of this stick in which I've created a notch in the stick so it's basically an old broom handle and you use this each person on either side grabs the stick and uses that to lower the turkey with the hanger using the hanger lower that whole thing into the pot so you're not directly over top of it because if you've made any miscalculations on how much oil uh, is to go in there or how big the turkey's supposed to be or anything like that then oil can come over the top and overflow and then you have a fire so that's very important to make sure you have all that right